Hey guys, welcome to my week 49 post VSG update. How are you? I am in such a good mood. I went to the city last night for a keto meetup. More about this in just a moment. Um, but I got to meet Matt and Mega from Keto Connect and I got to meet Dina of Goodies Baking Mixes and uh, a whole lot of other folks and it was just so wonderful. And anytime there's a meetup, it's just like the best thing ever. So um, I will tell you more about that in just a moment. But first my stats. I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy on October 20th, 2016 in Morristown, New Jersey at Morristown Medical Center. My high weight starting weight day of surgery was 265. I'm 5'8". Eight. I am now 31 years old. Um, last week I came to you at 170.3. Today I come to you at 170 even. So that is a 0 0.3 pound loss for the week and 95 pounds down since surgery. Am I happy with that? Uh, yeah, I'm happy that it's a loss. Did I want to be in the 160s? Yeah. Um, I feel like I worked really hard this week. I, or, I mean, I was just really good this week. And the temptation was strong, as it always is. And I resisted. And I wanted to lose more. And I really just wanted to be like 169.9. I must have stepped on the scale like 15 times this morning in hopes that it would like wiggle and land on 169.9. It did wiggle, but it would always land on 170.0. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm not going to lie to you guys, although I thought about it. I was like, I could just tell them and they would never know. What's the point of that? Um, yeah, no, I'm not going to lie to you guys about my weight. It's 170 exactly, and uh, hopefully next week I'll be in the 160s. Anyway, so that's my weight loss news. Also, I was on my period last week, and I feel like I only ever talk about my period when it's extremely bad. <laughs> And uh, the period last week was very, like, normal and uh, not affecting me. So um, that might be why my loss was a little slower, but I feel like I should also document that occasionally I have normal periods. <laughs> That's good. Um, what else? Okay, so I got my new Fitbit in. I just got it last night. I charged it up. I wore it today for the first time. Um, if you can tell, well, you can't tell, but it's really cool. It shows my heart rate and how many calories I've burned. So like today, just from existing, I've burned 1800 calories. So I feel like having this, um, measure all the time will help me when the weight loss gets a little more difficult <laughs> or maintenance once I get there. So, um, I'm excited that I have it. I just got it for the first time. I think I also said that it was a charge HR. I lied. This is the charge two Fitbit. If anybody cares, that's what it is. Um, yeah. Okay. So about the meetup, I had heard about it because, um, Matt and Mega from Keto Connect were talking about it on their, um, I think they talked about it on their YouTube on one of their recent lives and, um, and also on their Instagram that they were coming to New York for a food bloggers conference. And in addition to having a YouTube channel and an Instagram, they have a blog and that's where all the recipes are housed. And uh, so they were coming in for this conference, and by coincidence, Cindy from uh, Cindy VSG uh, was going there as well. So I was like, this is awesome. Cindy, you should come to the meetup. And uh, unfortunately, she had plans, couldn't make it, whatever. So um, I was really nervous about going to the meetup because you guys know I don't do keto. <laughs> I do low carb, but uh, not, I'm not like keto AF the way. A lot of you guys are and and I was nervous about going because you know I feel like in in the weight loss community weight loss surgery community there's like the expectation that you like really really know what you're doing because to a certain extent your life kind of depends on it you know and you didn't have surgery just for fun <laughs> and 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 like people know their macros and they know what they're doing and like this many grams of protein and blah blah and if you deviate from a certain plan it's because you have this other plan and I feel like in the weight loss surgery community people are um strict with whatever they're doing you know to a certain extent I, I, you know but keto it, for people who have not had weight loss surgery it doesn't have to be that extreme right it's not like you do this to save your life I mean for some people yeah it's a great weight loss technique um, but some people do it just because they feel better and they feel good and they feel healthy and they do it just for fun and they're really not even trying to do to lose weight. And, um, and they do it just because they like the way they feel on it and they're not trying to um, cure any kind of condition. They just like it. And I think uh, Matt and Mega are very much in that 
camp. Um, oh, I also got to meet uh, Dina from Goodies uh, Baking Mixes, and I had heard about her uh, baking mixes a while ago. People were talking about how delicious they were and how it's like too good to be true, but um, I hadn't tried them. And last week, I, because the I really she has like brownies and blondies and um, cookies and muffins and all kinds of stuff. But I really wanted to try the blondies. I've, you, you guys know I'm not like much of a sweets person in general, and definitely not much of a chocolate person. But blondies and like white chocolate stuff that's that's my jam. And the blondies had been out of stock, so I'd been like waiting for them to get to be back in stock. She has a website, and they're on Amazon too. And I, I ordered them, and I made them, and they're so freaking good. And um, I don't know, I I. I her name is Dina. It's D, so like goodies. That's why the name. And I don't know why. When I think like baking mixes, I think like Aunt Jemima or like Betty Crocker, like some older, heavy set matronly lady. <laughs> when I met Dina, holy smokes, you guys, she is gorgeous, and she's like young and beautiful and vibrant and excited to like share her things. And um, not at all what I was expecting. She's uh, absolutely fantastic. She has such a wonderful personality. Um, Meeting her felt like meeting up again with an old friend. Like, she she was just uh, such a wonderful, pleasant surprise. <laughs> Fortunately, oh, I wanted to mention about Cindy. So Cindy is going to the conference. I think she's there today, actually. And she got to meet Matt and Mega there today. So I'm happy about that. But she didn't get to come to the meetup. Anyway, the meetup was kind of small. It was maybe, like, 25 or 30 people. And, you know, the only other meetup I had ever been to was when I went to WLSFA with a lot of you guys in uh, in Portland a few months ago. And that was a totally different experience, right? Because it's, like, really huge, like, hundreds of people, and, like, you're there, in a sense, to, like, attend lectures or talks or, you know, there's kind of, like, a stated purpose, and then we're all there for that. Whereas this kind of meetup, it was just, like, we're all going to hang out and have dinner and talk. So um, it was it was different. Plus, because I'm not really in the keto community, like, I don't know who the, like, big shots, <laughs> who the like big names are in the keto community, like on Instagram and stuff, because I don't really follow any of them. So I have a feeling that a lot of the folks who were there were like massively popular or like have like a big online presence, much bigger than me, but I didn't know it. And it, that's fine. You know, you just, you just talk to people. I think if I have advice to give for anybody who is ever going to a meetup of any kind or is like nervous about going to a meetup, um, as I was, you know, I, I think what I was trying to say is that I was nervous about going because I'm not really part of that community. I just wanted to meet Matt, Matt and Mega. Um, because I really do use a lot of their recipes all the time. Like I, plus I watch all of their videos and I just think they're so relatable and friendly and nice. Um, that's what I thought before I even met them. And then like in person, they're amazing. But my advice is if you ever go to a meetup, just remember that people are people. <laughs> even if somebody's like, a celebrity in your mind because they have a gazillion followers or their Instagram pages or YouTube pages or like so many subscribers and all this at the end of the day they're just a person they're just a guy they're just a girl who's kind of awkward and maybe kind of nervous about meeting all these new people like they're in the same exact shoes that you are in and um, also when you go to a meetup there's either people who have met other people who are there or people who don't know anybody there so the people who have met other people who are there, they're going to talk to each other, you know, and maybe to some people that might seem like clicky or whatever, but it's not, you know, they're just, uh, they're just talking to the people that they know. And then the people who don't know anybody, well, you know, they're trying their best to not be awkward and, and make new friends and meet new people. And ultimately what it comes down to is we're all there because we have a shared interest and we all are kind of on the same page about our lifestyles and our goals. And for some people, like I said, for some people, keto is like, a weight loss mechanism. For other people, it's just a way to be healthy and feel good and feel energetic. And so in this, you know, when you're at like a weight loss surgery meetup, maybe everyone has had surgery and like maybe the experiences are more similar. Um, but this was a keto meetup. And like I said, these are people who watch what they eat. They're interested in eating healthy. They, um, you know, they're interested in feeling good about their bodies and doing something about it and exercising for the most part, you know? So like, at the end of the day, these are relatively like-minded people, and so you're going to have something to talk about with them, and you're going to have something in common, and if you ever have the opportunity to go to one of these things, just go, even if it's out of your comfort zone. I know for me it is. I don't, 
I've told you guys before, I don't make new friends very often. This is not like a skill that I'm practiced in. I don't consider myself like a social butterfly or even very good socially. I'm pretty awkward. Uh, but you just go anyway and you kind of fake it and you talk to people like they're your friends and then they talk to you like they're your friends and then you're friends. <laughs> it's simple as that. And it's really... Um, I don't know. It's so much fun. It's such a rewarding experience. At the end of the day, like I said, a couple hours go by and you really are friends. You've shared a meal. You've shared a drink. You like shared a joke. Something funny happened. You show each other pictures. Like you have this bond afterwards. And it's, it's so rewarding to, um, even though we do feel like we get to know each other online, it's so rewarding to meet people in person, to, to put like <laughs> flesh and bones to, to someone that you know. What was cool about this uh, meetup is that, I don't know, I was half expecting for people to be like, okay, so what percent fat is your diet and what percent uh, carbs and what percent uh, protein are your calories for the day? And I thought, I don't know, I, I, I thought people were going to like ask me that and like I thought the goal of this kind of group of people would be like getting tips and advice on how to do it better it being keto. <laughs> and and I think among a weight loss surgery group, that kind of is the goal, right? People are asking each other for like advice and like, not that the keto people aren't asking each other for advice, but ultimately weight loss surgery is a really um, unusual physical experience, especially for the first year. And so people want to talk to each other about shared experiences, what's normal, what's abnormal, and so forth. With keto, I mean, it's a diet at the end of the day. It's a way of eating, and so it's not that extreme. It's just it's just what you eat. And um, I think I really liked that aspect of this meetup because it wasn't so focused on, like, food and macros and whatever. It was just focused on people and getting to know each other and becoming friends. And um, like I said, at the end of the day, people are just people, and you might have different goals, but you're probably like-minded if you're at one of these things. Um, and about Matt and Mega, oh my gosh, they're just so great. Um, if you've watched their videos, I feel like they come off as really genuine, honest, personable, friendly, charming, whatever. They are all of that and more in person. And I just, I really respect the work they do. I feel like they work really hard at making Keto Connect a successful endeavor, right? So they have their YouTube channel, their um, their blog, their Instagram, and all that, and and they work really hard at something that they, that they're genuinely interested in, right? And they don't they don't measure their success by like how well they're sticking to the keto diet, right? Their like measure of self worth isn't about like wrapped up in keto success. It's like wrapped up in life success, and and I love that. I have a lot of respect for people who leave like traditional, stable jobs and put all of their brain power behind something that they really care about. And, uh, and you can tell that they, um, they're smart and they care about this and they're working really hard at it. And I just, I have so much respect for that. So, um, anyway, obviously I will link their channel below. Oh, I got to film uh, a little bit of footage with both Matt and Mega, which I will post soon except the footage with Matt got lost. And I feel so bad about it. Um, we discovered that it didn't record properly as we were leaving. So, okay, so we, um, I live in New Jersey. We, uh, we drove to Hoboken, took the train into, um, into Manhattan. And uh, as we were leaving the meetup, we realized that the footage had gotten messed up. And I wanted so bad to like go back and refilm. Um, the mega part is fine. The mat part is the one that got lost. And um, where we had parked our car, the garage closed at like 11 p.m. And at this point, it was like 1030. And the train takes like 15 to 20 minutes. And anyway, we didn't end up going back to refilm. We just took the train and went back to the parking garage. We got to the parking garage at like 1057. If it had been <laughs> three minutes later, we wouldn't have been able to get our car out until like the next day. It would have been catastrophic. So anyway, I'm glad we didn't go back to refilm. But I'm really sad that that part's missing. And Maybe someday I'll meet them again <laughs> and film some other thing with uh, with them. I don't know, but they were they were such great sports about it, and uh, 
I'm going to show you the mega part in a couple days. So I'm really excited about that too. It was just, the whole thing was so much fun. And again, if you ever have a chance to do any kind of meetup for people who are in any way the same kind of journey or process that you are on, if it's like a certain diet or weight loss surgery or just weight loss in general, you know, surrounding yourself with like-minded people, having that community is so important because if you limit yourself to the people you just happen to meet in real life, realistically, who's that going to be? If you're in school, it's your schoolmates. If you're at work, it's your workmates. And, you know, it's probably not very likely that they have the same <laughs> goals and aspirations as you do, but that's the wonders of the internet, right? That you can find the people who are relevant to you and make that connection and make, you know, form your tribe <laughs> in a sense. So anyway, if, if you ever get the opportunity to do it, I highly, highly recommend it. I'm so glad that Cindy got to go to the conference today, and I'm sure she'll be talking about it on her channel soon, and that she got to meet Matt and Mega as well. And um, anyway, it was just it was just fantastic. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.